It's been several years since the Cartwright boys rode the vast ranges of the Ponderosa. What began as an almost failure blossomed into the second longest running western to hit the small screen, airing for 14 years. 1. Truly equal billing. There really was no star on Bonanza. Its four leads were given equal screen time in the credits. The producers would even swap the order in which the cast members were billed in order to keep things fair. 2. Lorne Green was a music star too. Lorne Green actually capitalised on his image by releasing a string of country and western albums. He scored a number one hit with his ballad Ringo and even performed a fictional history of the Ponderosa. 3. Bonanza means exactly that. The show was named Bonanza after its real-world counterpart, a slang term used by miners to describe a large mineral deposit, synonymous with jackpot. An actual Bonanza was discovered close to the Cartwright's ranch, the famous Comstock Lode. 4. Those Costumes From season 4 to 14, the characters on the show only wore one set of distinctive outfits. Not only did this make the costume budget easier to swallow, but also made for easier editing in the event of reshoots. 5. Bonanza almost got cancelled, like immediately. Bonanza's competition proved to be so powerful that NBC was tempted to cancel the cowboy show. However, Bonanza was one of the earliest shows to be filmed in colour, so it provided temptation for people to buy colour TVs like the ones sold by NBC's parent company, RCA. 6. Dan Blocker died before the show finished. Dan Blocker, aka Hoss, succumbed to a pulmonary embolism during a failed gallbladder surgery. The producers found themselves incapable of replacing the gentle giant, so Hoss left the series, drowned trying to save someone's life. 7. Oh, that Michael Landon! Michael Landon was so committed to the role that he even began writing and directing episodes of the show. However, apart from being extremely difficult to work with, he was reportedly the reason that no new major characters were admitted to the cast. 8. Lorne Green is one of America's favourite TV dads. One of the show's producers was appalled at the way American fathers were represented in the media. So he made his series an hour long to better portray the kind, caring father that men should strive to be. 9. Dan Blocker almost mash star. Blocker was one of Robert Altman's top choices for an unknown lead role in M.A.S.H. Unfortunately for Blocker, the film's producers refused to give Altman permission to cast the actor. Which TV series do you want to know more inside secrets about? Comment below! For your daily celeb fix, subscribe.